All right, so I was setting up this Orange Pi Zero earlier, and I thought to myself, well, if I get this running, I need to put it in something. Uh, a case, I haven't got any of these ones you can get from eBay or what have you, so I didn't want to put it in another game system. But then I remembered something, and, well, back a few years ago, I used to make these called parameters for ghost hunting. And they got various functions on them, uh, such as infrared sensor, EMF, Frank's box audio for radio stuff, a uh, flashlight on them, this one uses a filament bulb instead of an LED and various functions but they fit in the hand really well and also they've got quite a bit of space inside so will that fit in there and then we've got a PC in a mouse so which one to choose then um, I think the Microsoft one is the tallest um, got to see what kind of room there is inside this thing's all Look at that colour difference. One part of the plastic has uh, been hit by the sunlight badly and the other has been alright. Yeah, a bit like some old Nintendo consoles, they do the same thing. Anyway, point being, see which one's got the most room inside. Um, cut all the bits out from the inside in the internals and see if that will fit in one. I quite like this one because of the see-through case, it might be kind of cool that. Now for the top of this case we've got a bit of an interesting problem. Here's where the buttons used to be. Or well, used to click anyway. Uh, this piece connects to that piece. I'll probably end up gluing these two in place to remove that full big piece there and give extra height room. Okay, so now I've cleaned out the bottom there somewhat and I'll tidy it up a bit further and then attach these back onto the top with some glue. Which worked out really well. There's now much more room in there. Used a bit of super glue, the gel type, to uh, attach those back on. It's all quite smart. And looking at this, there's the 3 watt audio amplifier, Power Mate 403. That's the wireless keyboard and, in fact, mouse. Um, that's the Ethernet, which I probably won't be using uh, because they have got Wi Fi on them. Um, Perhaps Ambient supports it, I'm not sure yet. But what I'll have to do is I'll replace that, which is the volume control, I'll change these wires out because they're not very flexible at all and will probably poke up too much. I'll probably end up soldering wires, but what I want to end up with is just one cord coming out the front of the mouse, which is how it normally would be, and at the end of which it'll have the connections to plug things in. That's the five wires connected on. I've got the two to the PAM8403 3 watt amplifier. I've got the negative and positive power wires. And I've also got the signal wire for the uh, monitor out, TV out kind of a thing. And I made a monumental error before. That's nothing to do with the volume, that's the speed of the fan. Um, it's measuring 32 ohms, that seemed to be where it balanced out nicely so it wouldn't heat up too much, whatever. So I'll just replace that with 32 ohms, um, an equivalent resistor, or a couple of resistors. Orange, orange, black, yes, 32.7 ohms, that'll do fine. So, I've got the parts inside now, and uh, it's got a bit of a run through. That 33 ohm resistor has now got heat shrink on it, and that's fitting down the side there, so it's not touching anything and shorting out. I've got the 3 watt amplifier at the top and that fitted in nicely in a small section that's cut out. I've got the uh, antenna here for the Wi-Fi going down the side and the wires that run to the 3 watt amplifier run underneath that. So the big question now is will the top go on? And what do you know? The answer is yes. The case went down quite easily really. You can see, well let's see if you can, <laughs> through the, uh, the light there you can see it sat in there. So, the next part is to wire up the other end. I'm very happy with that though. And here we are with it running. We've got uh, Ace Combat 3 electrosphere loaded up. And what I've got here is the mouse cord as I'm calling it, goes to that speaker behind the screen 
screens connected up and I've got this wireless keyboard and mouse in front so ah, that's very cool uh, the image is fine looks all right uh, next thing I'm gonna do is to load up the ambient desktop so we'll come on to that Uh, desktop there we are load this up and now we've got well a full PC <laughs> hey up oh, Wi-Fi networks available so yeah I've still to connect with the Wi-Fi but uh, all right I've just cut from that that I was talking about uh, to get it online which it has done now and it does play videos fine on YouTube that that it's uh, just the latest episode of flight test just to really show it's playing fine. I'm really impressed with the speed of these uh, Orange Pi Zeros. So I'm very impressed with the size, the way it fitted in, and the fact that it does run Ambient on here, so full desktop functionality. Go from watch YouTube videos and such. And it's just really nice to have it all inside a mouse. I've left the top open uh, to allow the air to come in for the fan, and then underneath is also open where the little uh, LED used to go the scanning part and there we are so hope you like that and if you make one good luck thanks for watching